Hours, Dave Campbell's Texas Football. And I'm out here at Stephenville High School at Tarleton, man. This is a beautiful place to play y'all's high school games, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, knocked off China Spring, man. A lot of doubters coming into this game, but y'all silenced them with a good offensive performance. You hauled in a couple of long catches. Just kind of talk about the win tonight. What was it like uh, picking up a win with your brothers out there on the field? Well, we just come in and play like a team, just doing it the best we can, just we just win a ball game. Uh, look, Stephenville's known for the ground and pound, right? Sure. But you kind of bring a different element to this offense. Is there a receiver that you look up to patting your game after at all? I mean, I'm going to pick one and see if you like it. Kind of remind me a little bit of Garrett Wilson. Gar oh, yeah, I watch him all the time. Really? Yes, sir. That was a good pick on my part? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anybody else out there that you feel like that you kind of like pattern yourself after? NFL or college? Either one, man, either one. Uh, I'll probably say Coy Aiken. He's, okay. He's my idol in high school. Well, I mean, he's a lot of people in Stephenville's yeah. idol, right? Like yeah. state championship winner, big time dude. Yes, like him, I mean, you're going on to play college at the next level, earn some cool scholarship offers, but you got one that you really like. Yeah. You picked Texas Tech. What was it about the Red Raiders that really jumped out to you, popped out to you, that made you feel comfortable enough to pull the trigger? Well, I got like I got friends over there and like people that can help me, and I just like everything about it. The coaches, energy, everything. Everybody always talks about. Joey McGuire, whenever you talk about Texas Tech. I mean, he was a former Texas high school football coaching legend himself. Mm -hmm. Does he still have that swag, that thing that makes high school players feel comfortable when they're around him? Always energy. Uh, talk about Juice Johnson, okay? What makes him so successful? I was down meeting with Micah Hudson last week, kind of talking to him about his commitment, and he mentioned his name a lot. What is it about Coach Juice that really makes the recruits that are around him want to play for him? He's just a fun guy. He just he has he brings a lot of energy to the team, and just I just I just like him. Now I know you you picked one of your guys, Coy Aiken, won a state ring here. Yes, sir. I know that you guys have your eye on the on the prize to win a state championship as well. Some big games left in front of you. What does the team have to do to, like, take care of business and, and potentially bring one home? We just got to play as a team. That's all. Beat your work in as one. That's all. What can fans in, in Lubbock expect out of you once you arrive on campus? Like, what's that one thing that you're bringing to the table they should, like, be excited about? Speed. There you heard it from Atlanta <laughs> self right there. Tristan Gentry bringing speed to that Texas Tech offense. Got a couple of guys that he looks up to in Garrett Wilson and Coy Aikman. Thanks for the time and good luck with the rest of your – junior season, and of course when you get to college in a couple years from now as well. Yes, sir. See you.